Hello, I'm Dave. I have the Energy Apex here, and I have a bad cable end. So this goes from the Energy Apex to the solar panels. It's an EC8 connector. I'm going to replace that today. So let's get started. So this is the connector, and it's really loose right here at the end of the connector. And if you could see in there, and you probably can on this video, but you can see the loose strands. So the solder looks like it's on the inside. There's solder on the inside of this connector. And then the wires look like they were just stuffed in. So it doesn't look like there's any solder on the wires as it leaves this connector. So that's the weakest point, right where the wires go from having... Uh, just the copper strands, no solder to being soldered inside here. So when you pull it, connectors in and out, you wiggle it. I try not to pull on the wire itself, but they're hard to get out. So that's the weak point. I replaced the other end already today. And I pretend the wires, so that means that some of the solder goes up and underneath the jacket. So right now, it's stiff back up into here so I should be able to pull the whole thing out by grabbing it here and hanging on to the wire and pull and I couldn't really do that before with this I do have to be careful because now the weak point is up in this area so if I'm not careful it'll start to bend a lot where it's flexible down here and then not up here and then you'll start to break up here but I got these on Amazon, and I'll put a link down below. But, so you need to know, one side has a flat edge on it, and then the other side is completely round. So you need to know which wire goes in the round one, which one goes in the flat side. So on this one, one wire has uh, an inkjet identification on the cable, and that's on the side that goes to the ground. The other side, it's got two edges on the wires, so they're little fins, and then that those go to the side of the connector that's got the flat on it. So we will cut this off. And we gotta make sure we put this on. It doesn't have to go on now, but I don't want to forget it. We need to strip just enough to get in to be able to go on the inside, which it goes right up to this edge. There's a little lip on here, so it's not much. This wire is big, so there isn't a groove in these strippers for it. So you just got to use the sharp edge, work your way around it, pull it off. There's not much to twist it. There isn't much sticking out, but we'll see how it fits in there, and that looks pretty good. Do the same thing to the other side. Be too long. That's good. And I'm going to use Energy Apex to fix itself. So, on this solder iron, they have some smaller ones. This one's actually a pretty big one. So, it's 240 watts. Uh, on the low setting and 325 watts on the, on the high setting. I know there's some that are like 80 and 120. I don't know if a 120 would be big enough to heat this big of an item. So the 325, it's probably the biggest one I've seen. So it should be enough. So 
there's two positions on the trigger one for be low and one would be for high let it get hot it's in the tip you got a good flow in the tip it starts transferring heat to the wire start applying solder try to get as much in there as you can I actually have really thin solder so it would be good if you had large wire you had large solder but I just got to feed more into it So fill these up a little bit. Again, get a good gob of solder, melted solder on here that helps with the heat transfer. Then put it on top there. I don't have a vise, but this will work. I had to do an emergency repair once and I didn't have my soldering iron so I used a torch and the whole brass connector turned black but it got me by so I think this wire actually has a lot of room in this connector so you want to make sure you fill it up really good with solder I probably have those about, I don't know, a third full, half full. I'm going to be hot still. Take extra long to heat up because I'm touching all this metal with it. There it goes, it's going in. So it's in, but I gotta put a lot more solder in there.
just to make it look pretty. And just melt some solder into the hole. Without really heating the connector up. And then I heat it up just enough to get it to flow in really good. So it doesn't heat everything up. Because the wire I have in there is straight right now. You see that looks pretty. This one's probably not hot, but The solder and the connector melted first. Now it's sliding in. Need a lot more solder still. That one actually looks pretty that way. Now there's much extra solder on the side like there's on this one. I'm going to have to get that off. Because it's not going to slide into the connector. So, what you can do is you heat up just the outside. Just that solder. And you smack it, and the excess will fall off. good. Then, get these in, get the solder that down here. That was the excess. This was the flux. the weight of my drawer so there's little snaps there's little grooves and here they have to snap on the inside of here they actually sit below the surface so you got to put the mate to it inside and then smack it with a hammer
And that's it. One connector. <laughs>